Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about what instigated a direct message from Joe Bonamassa himself. And after the chat with Joe, it completely shone a light on something that I was completely naive to, on something that's happening in 2024. It's, it's literally a fascinating and crazy world that we're gonna to have to navigate through as guitar players and musicians. So this is my response to Joe Bonamassa. <laughs> So last week, as we always do, we try and generate a bit of interest towards our YouTube videos through Instagram and you know maybe post a picture about the video. But that very day of posting the picture, we actually downloaded one of those AI image generators. Now this was completely fascinating and a new world to me because you can literally type in a prompt and it will generate real life looking imagery in real time. Since the topic of the video was about Joe Bodamassa, we typed in something like Joe Bodamassa, you know, surrounded by amps and money and guitars, because that was the topic of the video. You know, we were trying to delve into why Joe gets so much hate online, especially in the comment sections. So here's where it gets interesting because I was about to go to sleep at one in the morning and I went on Instagram quickly and it said, Joe Bodamassa has commented on your post. So here is the image that we posted, very much a depiction of a character that looks like Joe Bonamassa, you know, surrounded by money and amps in the background. Plus, it's a bit weird with AI, they never quite get the fingers right. I mean, I look at the state of those fingers, but, um, and Joe commented saying, my amp collection is much better than your AI generated graphic suggests, <laughs> which I was literally in, in hysterics because that's just like the perfect comment. and. That being said, hundreds and hundreds of people liked it and were chiming in on the conversation, but then it took a bit of a different turn. Yeah, I then looked at my inbox and it said, Joe Bonamassa has messaged you. So I was like, this probably isn't gonna be too good. So I opened up the message and Joe's message was very friendly, but it did raise concerns about intellectual property, trademarks, uh, you know, trademark infringement. Even though it's not technically Bonamassa in the picture, the likeness is still there. So this sparked up a whole storm in my mind. I was like, who actually owns AI generated art, AI generated text and music? What about guitar playing? If someone generates an AI guitar part that sounds eerily close to something famous, where does the ownership of that music lie? Who's liable for the damages of that? It's, it's literally a fascinating and crazy world that we're gonna have to navigate through as guitar players and musicians. Joe shared his perspective on the ever-growing challenges of protecting your IP within the music industry. When you think of Joe, you think of, you know, sunglasses, cool suits, uh, nice Les Pauls, and, you know, the slick, slick back hair. I understand why you'd want to protect that. But my massive mistake before uploading our last video is I didn't actually take this into consideration. I just thought, you know, it's AI art. Someone could have drawn it anyway. I didn't really think about it, but... To be honest, the conversation we had with Joe really did make us reflect on the importance of ownership, especially when it comes to intangible assets such as trademarks. Yeah, I think this is probably a conversation that needed to be had. It's only going to get worse because this app that I downloaded was completely accessible for barely any money. Is it the AI platform that generated it? Is it the person that put in the prompts to get the artwork? Or like in this instance, when it's a clear depiction of an actual human, do they then own the artwork? It's literally, it's literally crazy. There's a time and a place to integrate technology into a business or your day-to-day -day lives. But when it comes at the expense of detracting from what someone's built, of, of course, I'm, you know, we're trying to build something ourselves here. So we're not trying to do that to anyone else. Now, I just want to say a quick thanks to Joe for actually being super cool about this because you know, he could have got very arsy, as we say here in the UK, and he didn't. He was just super polite and nice. So the last thing that Joe said to us was, you know, it's a new problem to deal with nowadays. We are having it come our way more and more these days. So I don't think it's the first time that someone like Joe would have experienced this, but I'm personally going to stay clear of actually generating any AI artwork of artists going forwards because 
this has shone a new light on this whole situation. So to wrap up the video, I'm actually gonna plug in this Joe Bonamassa fuzz face, try and get those creamy tones that this pedal is well known for, stacks up beautifully with humbuckers. So I'm gonna get the Les Paul out and try and get those creamy Bonamassery tones. Of course, we're never gonna do his playing justice or his tone justice. But yeah, this is a, a track that me and my drummer Tom recorded. So let us know what you think in the comments too. This crazy new world that we're in, in 2024, AI, uh, just like, yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you in a bit and cheers. Mm -hmm.